Hello guys, welcome back to another deck profile video with me, Z. Yay, we like deck profile videos. Yeah, this is a really weird deck profile. I recently just kind of traded off my partner because she's a bitch and wants to trade. Doesn't share things. We all love that. This is a Gear Chronicle deck. This is a Time Leak variant that I myself have finished and love and enjoy. Uh, there are... This is the current version. This possibly will be updated with the stuff coming out soon. Especially the stride. Jesus Christ, the stride, yes. Uh, but for now, this is what I have. Uh, high warning. Some of the strides in here, uh, let's say face down like this. I'll explain to you what their spots are for. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, 16 G zone. Okay, so... Whoop, moving this around. I, I have not yet, for some reason, like, this is all mixed up because I was playing it the other day. But, yeah, I like it too much. So the starter is TikTok Worker. Probably one of the most broken pieces of shit I've ever had to work with. He's just, just too good. He's just too good. We'll put him up here. Uh, for triggers, there's one crit. There's two crit. There's three crits. I actually believe there's 12 crit in this deck. There is 12 crit in this deck. Interesting. So, I believe this deck is at 12 crit because, like, come on. Like, who's going to want to run draw triggers and something like this when you want to drive check the grade threes? And you'll see why I mean in a minute. Uh, Jesus Christ, there's crits everywhere. I really should have, like, thought this through before I decided to start recording. Hey, guys. So... There's another crit there. There's a crit there. Yeah, there you go. 12 crit. Because fuck life and smug life and shit. Uh, for some reason, there's only three of these, but I'll sort that out another day because it doesn't matter. So 12 crits. Four heals, of course, because she's adorable. And these are now generic, even though they've always been generic. But they've, they're even more generic than anything. Grade ones. Uh, oh, I haven't exactly thought about the grade ones yet, but we'll go with so far only because I own two. Uh, two gear turtles. When you drive to a grade three, time link this unit, and it has resist. Fun, all the fun. Probably one of the best uh, grade ones I've seen so far. Now I'm tempted to run more of this, but I take it at one because it works at one. Is a uh, steam maiden Malim. Uh, basically, it's the upstream uh, clone, which is kind of funny, especially when you put when you use the grade three I run in this deck. Put this to the bottom of the deck and stuff to search it out afterwards is fun. So this is like fodder for myself, and I can call it out to use its skill later in the game rather than watching it get sniped. Then we run one, I believe, two Lucina bells. Yep, yeah. two Lucina bells because why not? It's a grade two for me, and it's a minus a card for my opponent, which is kind of funny. Like, yeah. So far, this deck in a tournament, I don't know how it would fare, but it's really fun. Two Danish because Danish is a bitch. Gets rid of the starters or gets rid of pro like problem grade twos. Um, now uh, let's keep going through. <laughs> I, uh, next time I'll actually plan this out properly. I believe, yep, yeah. three stride enablers. I do have a fourth, but it's hot stamped and it sits in the hot stamp folder. So enjoy that. Four nullifies, but I run these ones in hope that they get a cold time leap nullify, but for now, these are quite good, especially because I like to protect the rear guards in this deck quite, quite weirdly. So, yeah, it's not a it's not a normal thing I tend to do is protect rear guards and such like that anymore. Seeing with a, as a great nature player, I just kill them and then I basically draw like a bitch to keep them in hand. But yeah, that's how that works. Anyway, on to the grade twos. Uh, here we go for history maker. When he attacks, counterblast one, choose a unit and time leap it. Doesn't even have to be boosted. I love that. I love that about the guy. Then I believe we go one, two, three, 
for Lugo. Because Lugo is a stupid 11k Tom. Like we need more of those in life. Two Gearhound, because Gearhound is hilarious with the resist when you try to take a grade 3 time leap it. And if I had more, it would be in this deck uh, more anyway. But an upstream, because upstream at one. Just amazing. I'm actually kind of happy as well that he doesn't require Chrono. Just when he attacks, gains 4k. Becomes a 13k attacker and then goes into a grade 1 afterwards, which tends to be nice when I want to. I tend to put GG in here, but if I Danish or I put the Turtle. Then attack the Vanguard, get grade, grade 3, and that's free spin uh, stuff for me. Now for the grade 3s. We'll go, we'll start with the uh, the grade stopper, the grade rush stopper, my favourite one, and that's Iron Hammer Colossus. Heavy Iron Hammer Colossus is fun. He's hilarious. I've won games with him alone. It's just hilarious how you just try to take a grade 3 and spin a rear guard. It just works. So him at two is brilliant. Uh, we go there. Two Kong Bao, because Kong Bao is quite nice to get yourself set up again. And then the main unit is for Gear Eagle, because Gear Eagle and Chrono's Command is a death bomb. Now for the strides, that'd be. Let me just pick all this up. But but boat boat. Chrono's Command, because. Who doesn't run Chrono's Command, seriously? He's hilarious pressure, and if he hits, he's a dick. Uh, his newer form, Revolution 2, because I, I believe this is only a one-trick pony, and it works quite nicely. Uh, Apoc Maker, for those times, I if I don't have time for this or this, or set up or anything like that. He just he's a nice little scary punch unit. He's also a nice fun last stride sort of thing. Then we have the Fate Rider who I would totally take Epop Maker out for a Fate Rider, but I currently own one. Because the Fate Rider is the old time spinny spin original spin spin. Now for the uh, warp drive dragon, I am collecting some well I might be collecting some soon but they'll be at four because I think their skills are hilarious the new bullshit stride that's coming in set seven I personally can't remember his name but they're spots for him just do me a favor and just someone chuck his name in the link for me because I can't remember it and then three guardians because these make me have to run three and I don't want to take this out for G Guardian because then it sort of shuts me down on problems. So this is my Gear Chronicle deck. It's my Time Leap variant, uh, inspired by my partner Cat or Roulette from Cardfight Coast, because it was basically her idea and it's a fun idea. So thank you guys for watching this deck profile. If you have any uh, uh, any ideas on how I should update this, let me know and I'll give it a shot. Uh, want any more deck profiles give me a like and blah 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 the last video I did the legend profile got just over 100 views so happy with that guys thank you didn't expect that so thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next video who ate all the pies and that's what's on my shirt bye, -bye people